Revelio. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Wizards Council. That's correct! The Wizards Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Peruvian Vipertooth. Brilliant! Though the Vipertooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demiguise. Yes! While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? The Patronus charm. Well done! The only known survivor of a Lethifold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Gamp. That's it! One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct! 
In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormiens Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? The rune spore. That's right! According to parcel mouths, each of the rune spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Amatentia. That's the answer. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Give me your worst. Wonderful! I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Egbert the Egregious. That's right! Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorising villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Have a sacking. That's right! Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Bad luck. Correct! Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? Mimbleus mimbletonia. Correct! The Mimbleus mimbletonia plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Linford of Stinchcombe. Very good! Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Linford's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In the Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the Elder Wizard leave for his son in the Hopping Pot? A single slipper. That's correct! The story was created by Beedle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? North America. That's right! The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Occamy and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Sir Luckless. Correct! The three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest Kelpie is also known by what other name? The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The Office of Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. Who was the first Minister for Magic? Ulick Gamp. Yes. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. I'm frankly astonished by how well you did. You have a talent for trivia. Thank you for humouring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. <laughs> Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration.
My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. So frustrating. 
You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. What are you up to now? The 
This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no... Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. This is thanks for your generosity. See if there's something you need. That's been a Revelio. Let 
Bombarder. Expelliarmus. Revelio. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I thought my owl the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. Next time I see dead woman. I'll give them what they deserve. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Game's your art, isn't it, this? When are you going to give up? You can't stop us. <laughs> no, that's embarrassing, you. <laughs> Go! Don't get away. That was meant for me. <laughs> Bombarder. <laughs> I've been fighting since before you were born. Easily tiger. You don't believe you can defeat me, do you? Protego! Ah, stupid to kill you! You won't stop the window! Ah. Your spells glance off of me. Not quite. Bombarda. Stupid one. You won't get away with that. Let me go. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Revelio.
This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Now you're making this too easy. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively Rebellion. fun. I should tell you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. Revent! How oh, nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. For better or for worse, we're in. Quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. Hello, Dallas. All over. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Revelio. Now I see why. 